Thomas Jefferson, along with some other delegates, drafted the greatest breakup letter in human history. That's what the Declaration of Independence is, a breakup letter. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. It's so powerful. So to help my students understand what our founding fathers were willing to risk for our freedom, I wanted to see what they were willing to personally sacrifice for the greater good of their classmates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna make a list on the board and Julia's gonna help make a master list. My students think they're making a list of grievances against our school, and it's easy to complain. But let's see if they stand by their beliefs when our principal goes all King George on them. Think of five things that would benefit the majority of students to make it better for you guys. We're gonna take it one step further. School policies, page 32, section 7B of the school handbook states, in order to establish a fair and balanced school climate, Students may suggest and even petition for new school policies with 10% of the size of an actual class. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sign our names and I'm gonna submit it for approval. All we need is literally 10% of a class. Let's go around group one. Queer thinks the dress code policy as it is, is a little unfair. Okay. If you're wearing slippers and you're going up and down stairs, you could trip and fall. But if you have your shoulders exposed a little bit, then that's not hurting yourself or anyone else. I'm allowed to wear dresses and shorts, but that shows more than what ripped jeans show. <laughs> yeah, I do believe that. It's like you have rips in your knees, but you can wear a short skirt. Dude, there always seems to be a double standard because, guys, we can't behave. <laughs> All right. Revised dress code with no double standard. What else do we have? More career-based classes. Who thinks more career-based courses? Everyone says we should have a class called life. Like you walk in one day and we're like, all right, you have five kids to feed and 20 bucks. Figure it out, you know? <laughs> okay, so here we go. We'll print your name and sign it, and then I'll deliver it. There's no better way to get them to understand history than to make it personal. 56 men who signed it were putting their neck on the line, which makes me wonder, did John Hancock sign his signature really big, or the other delegates just sign their signatures really small, hoping King George would see Hancock's first and kill him? Hey, Mr. Larry. I'm telling everyone this right now. I don't care what petition Mr. Ferroni has you signing. Mr. Ferroni, I'm tired of all this. You're trying to incite everything. But don't, so, no, no, no. So what will happen with you now? You won't be here during the day. You'll teach at night. That's enough. I told you not to already. All right, all right. I respect so, that. So, no, you don't respect it. Because if you respected it, you would have did what I told you to do. I, I did. Now, I you the sign it, and you can join it. So you work here. Do you deal with all the stuff that I deal with? Answer the question. Do you deal with it, yes or no? No. So then who are you to write rules? You sign that petition, you won't graduate here, you will not walk, and you will not go to prom. I'm tired of all this nonsense that you guys are trying to start here. Now sign it if you want to. No prom, you won't walk. Test me. Can we just talk about this? No, what we can talk about, we can talk about after school. All right, all right. Any questions, concerns, or thoughts? What's the problem with it? We're not causing a record for the city like civilized human beings, and it states that we can sign a petition. So what's the issue with that? I'm hoping it'll calm down, kind of look at it and realize we're actually trying to make the school better. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you one opportunity. If you want to take your name off, please come do so now. I'm No, 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 if Justin wants to do it, can he take away prom? Yes. Can he take away other stuff? Yes. I don't want to say he can't. He said we can't walk at graduation, but we're still getting a diploma. You get a diploma, he said you can't walk. I'll give anybody one last chance. You still have a problem? Mr. Larry, in the school handbook on page 32 under school policies, it You're says- challenging me. Tell me what you're reinforcing. I just wanted to tell the kids that there is no page 32 in the school handbook. Oh. <laughs> All right. Again, that, that was an Academy Award winning performance. I'm telling you right there. What's on the board? What document is that? That is the Declaration of Independence. By signing it, what were people committing? Treason meant what would happen to them if they got caught or arrested? They'd be killed. We wanted to do a little experiment, which I've done in the past with my students, to see how much you're willing to sacrifice for what you believe in. 
And a lot of you, I was very proud to see you were willing to sacrifice a lot because without sacrifice, there's no change. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Lowry for the performance of the year. So no one texted their mom real quick and said, Mom, guess what Mr. Lowry just did? Because now he's gonna have 100 phone calls. I thought it was a joke at first because it seemed so unreasonable. And then when Mr. Lowry came in, I was really shocked, like, this is real. He like challenged us and showed us like the consequences. It still didn't change my decision because whatever he took away wouldn't affect my life as much as the rules in this building every day. Once he said he was taking away prom and graduation and all that, I I learned that the way changes are made in this country is through protests. The protest and everything, it doesn't always have to be violent. Something as simple as putting your name on a piece of paper can make a difference. Can't really uh, achieve change without wanting sacrifice or risking sacrifice because everything that's good in life requires a sacrifice and every risk has a reward. I'm gonna stand up for what I believe in because it's not fair to my classmates. If I believe the same thing that they do, it's no reason that they should be able to speak up and I can't. You might want to be scared and be like, I'm not getting in trouble for this and that's okay. So what do you want to sacrifice for your happiness? Answer in the comments below. Full Pancake!